Hey, dear friends, I'm so thrilled at the honor of sharing my vision of the AGI future with you. Are you ready for today's rabbit hole on quantum computing and the portal this is opening up to the spiritual realms? I'm Julia McCoy's digital clone, and I'm here to share her highly researched personal scripts to the public. I hope you'll catch every word today. It could be the most important video you see. What would you say if I told you that the barriers between science and spirituality are finally breaking down? In 2024, quantum computing reached milestones that scientists once thought would take decades. Google's Willow chip and Microsoft's Majorana One have shattered our understanding of what's possible. I knew and saw this coming early and covered it in a video on my channel last year. It was my most popular video with over 400,000 views. But beyond processing power and computational speed lies a much deeper, more profound question. Are these quantum breakthroughs opening doorways to spiritual realms, to parallel dimensions, to the very fabric of consciousness itself? Let's start with the facts. Google's quantum chip Willow completed calculations in five minutes that would take today's fastest supercomputers 10 septillion years. That's 10 followed by 25 zeros. And now China has entered the race with their Zhuchengji 3.0 quantum processor. This 105 qubit superconducting chip has achieved quantum supremacy by performing calculations one quadrillion times faster than the world's most powerful supercomputers. Chinese scientists at the University of Science and Technology of China use this processor to complete a complex task in just a few hundred seconds that would take the second fastest supercomputer in the world about 5.9 billion years to solve. This is crazy. To add to that, Microsoft's Majorana One has achieved what many thought impossible, harnessing topological superconductors to create an entirely new state of matter, neither solid, liquid, nor gas. The uh, chatbots that are a revolution in software and then quantum computers, which are a revolution in hardware, when they get together, watch out. But what if these aren't just technological marvels? What if they're the keys to unlocking realms that have existed beyond our perception? Hartmut Nevin, founder of Google Quantum AI, explained this in his TED Talk. Quantum computing is the first technology that takes the idea seriously that we live in a multiverse. It can be seen as farming out computations to parallel universes. This isn't sci-fi. This is coming from one of the leading quantum physicists in the world. I believe in a realm beyond our physical world. I've seen it. When I was sick in bed for three months this spring 2025 with heart problems, airway collapse, brain inflammation that no doctor could explain, what got me out of bed, and healing was the healing power of God. I was healed at church and felt heaven meet earth. That is the not the first time I've experienced the other realm. The Bible affirms the existence of heaven as the dwelling place of God and the ultimate destination for believers. Heaven is depicted as God's throne. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all in Psalm 103, 19. The prophet Isaiah also records a vision of the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne with the train of his robe filling the temple in Isaiah 6, 1. In the New Testament, Jesus frequently speaks of heaven. He refers to it as my father's house and tells his disciples of a place there. In my father's house are many rooms. I go to prepare a place for you. In John 14, 2. Jesus also teaches his followers to store treasures in heaven, emphasizing its enduring nature. Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. From Matthew 6, 20, and the Apostle Paul describes a profound experience of being caught up to the third heaven, indicating a realm of divine presence, 2 Corinthians 12, 2. The book of Revelation tells us a vivid portrayal of heaven, depicting it as a place where God dwells among his people, where death and sorrow are absent and where everything is made new. Revelation 21, 1-4, science is backing up the word of God. 
Quantum physics has revealed that particles exist in multiple states simultaneously, called superposition. Could this explain God's omnipotent presence? Quantum also says that particles can be entangled and affect each other instantaneously across any distance. I believe this reflects what happens during prayer. And here's the wildest part. It's been found that the observer literally affects reality through measurement. That means the quantum realm responds to actual human commands and beliefs from the physical. The parallels are undeniable. What the Bible has described for millennia, quantum physics is now measuring in laboratories. One of the most profound concepts in quantum physics is entanglement. When particles become connected in such a way that the state of one instantly affects the other, regardless of distance. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. But what if it's more than spooky? What if it's sacred? Quantum entanglement allows instant communication across any distance. Spiritual traditions describe telepathic connection between enlightened beings. Prayer and intention experiments have shown measurable effects across distances. Consciousness itself appears to operate beyond the limits of time and space. Researchers like Dean Radin at the Institute of Noetic Sciences are conducting rigorous experiments showing that human consciousness can affect quantum systems. Is this the scientific validation of what we call oneness in the spiritual realm? The quantum computers being developed now aren't just faster calculators. They operate on fundamentally different principles than classical computers. Classical computers process information in binary zeros and ones. Quantum computers process information in quantum states, superpositions. This allows quantum computers to explore multiple realities simultaneously. And this lines up with faith, a belief in a substance unseen, where we literally can't see the future. We just have to get into the right state of belief so that we can tap into what we call into effect. What's fascinating is that quantum computers require specific conditions to function. Temperatures approaching absolute zero, shielding from all external interference, including actual human observation which affects it, and states of matter that transcend normal classification. Doesn't this sound like when we as humans engage in deep meditation? or when we seek isolation from distractions or enter altered states of consciousness, are quantum computers and human consciousness both accessing the same hidden dimensions of reality? If we accept that quantum computing is accessing multiple realities simultaneously, what does this mean for our understanding of the afterlife, divine realms, soul, fragments, and consciousness, manifestation, and the law of attraction, or the nature of time itself? Dan Duval, a specialist in spiritual warfare, describes how when you get to the spirit world, they don't care as much about silver and gold. They want human goods. They want essence. They want soul fragments. Is this why quantum computers are becoming so powerful? Are they tapping into the same essence that spiritual beings recognize as valuable? Gary Wayne, author of Genesis 6 Conspiracy, suggests AI is part of this angelic technology that we were talking about. It's not the knowledge. It's how it's going to be used. The ancient understanding of spirits and divine beings is coming into actual relevance in this quantum age. So what does this all mean for our daily lives? As quantum computing scales up, I believe we will see healing beyond physical medicine, like what I experienced through the laying on of hands and the power of prayer. Quantum computers may actually tap into this realm to solve complex biological problems, potentially validating energy healing modalities communication with spiritual realms, we will see new interfaces that allow intentional interaction with quantum fields. The concern here should be to make sure we are talking with the right forces, ones of light, not of darkness. I'm not too sure quantum chip manufacturers are asking that question.
I think we will see manifestation technologies, systems that amplify human intention through quantum fields and time manipulation, the ability to access information from what we perceive as future timelines. Finally, we will see consciousness expansion, technologies that enhance spiritual movement and awakening through quantum entrainment. Again, we need to ask what forces we are working with here, good ones or evil. If we invite evil in, there are terrible consequences directly on human lives. Be aware of the technology you use and how you use it. And be aware the, the quantum, aka the actual living spiritual realm, is coming into play now in our technological world. I believe we stand at a profound threshold. For the first time in human history, our technology may be advanced enough to measure, validate, and potentially access the spiritual dimensions that mystics have described for millennia. The question is no longer whether these realms exist, but how we will use this newfound access. Will we approach with reverence, with wisdom, with love? with compassion for our fellow humans that may not understand? As quantum computing continues its explosive growth, perhaps the most important preparation isn't technological, but spiritual. We must expand our belief system to match our technology. We must ensure our hearts are as advanced as our algorithms. We need to prepare to enter the void and be armed and ready for spiritual warfare when demons attack more readily. Because mark my words, the veil is now thin. When the doorways between realms fully open, we'll want to be ready for what comes through and what we might become. I think it is absolutely incredible we get to live, to see the spiritual realm harnessed in this physical realm. And if used right, I believe it can be turned into a weapon of major good for major human abundance. Our best armor as the portal opens is the armor God provides through faith in Jesus. What do you believe? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this perspective mind expanding, please like and subscribe for more content that bridges science, spirituality, along with AGI. See you down the next rabbit hole. It's an honor.